Hey, Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, it's Dr. Tara Tarot. We're going to do Second Chance Sunday. Should you give them a second chance? So we're going to use this die to choose the deck, and then afterwards we're going to do uh, six cards, Donna's Destiny, and then we'll do the all signs. If you're dealing with an Aries, if you're dealing with a Taurus, if you're dealing with a Dijana. So let's just get to it. Uh, let's roll. Let's see. We're using the Wizard's Tarot. Um, it's this one right here, and this is one actually that I just reviewed. Um, there's a playlist called Random. Um, if you're looking to purchase a tarot deck and you're wondering if, whether or not it's worth the money, um, it's in that playlist, the review. All right, so we're going to use this deck to answer that question. And I already pre-shuffled, so I just did a good faith shuffle. Page of Cups, Six of Swords, hmm. and the Star. Okay, the Star is a, a yes, and the Page of Cups is offering love. Six of Swords is moving on to calmer waters, but I think, yes, give it a second chance. Because um, you can heal and grow with this person. So that was quick and dirty, wasn't it? Not Maybe not dirty, but... <laughs> All right, so um, that's a yes. And the Page of Cups, is uh, re it represents the water signs. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. The Six of Swords is an Aquarius card, and a Star is an Aquarius card, Aquarius card too. Um, you get for these... Um, Oh, usually you don't have to tell an a, a, a Sagittarius. I almost called you Aquarius. You might be dealing with Aquarius. Um, you usually don't have to tell a Sagittarius to lighten up for some reason. It's telling you to lighten up. Um, okay, people are definitely not jealous of your relationship, though. It's asking you to lighten up. It says stop wasting money, pay it forward. Um, here is relax and reverse, so maybe you're relaxing a little too much. Um, it says you kind of need to open up emotionally addictions to some degree might be affecting your relationship and if you are dealing with an Aries and that's already pre-shuffled as well if you're dealing with an Aries they are walking away for something more fulfilling um they're just walking away for something they're not happy um they want they want some equality they feel like it, maybe they feel like it's just not fair um the Taurus it wants to take a leap take a leap of faith they feel like you might be a soulmate there's actually um, you get the lover's card. The Gemini is focusing on what went wrong, but they're going to come rushing in. I don't know what's up with that. Are they, what are they, what is that? So they're focusing on what went wrong, but they're going to come rushing in anyway. That kind of, that kind of smells like narcissism. <laughs> uh, the Cancer um, seems commitment with you, but they're feeling left out in the cold. So they feel like your marriage material, but they're feeling left out in the cold. The Leo is being sneaky and spying on you. They are not saying what they're thinking. They're just being sneaky. Look at this. This is what the Leo's doing. Sag, look at that. Eh, sneaky. All right, so if you're dealing with a Virgo, they're holding back, but they, they got some playboy, playgirl energy too. But they're holding back. Um, I think they're, they're, they're kind of feeling frisky for you. Um, the Libra has is having a hard time making a decision. What Libra does it? <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um... And they're trying to be patient, they're, but they're trying to make a decision. Uh, this Scorpio, I'm just busted on Libras, but um, <laughs> the Scorpio, um, they're kind of, I don't know, they're a little bit immature, but um, they're taking forever to invest in this. Um, and they're kind of, yeah, they're taking forever to invest. If you, you do what you want, but they're, you get the page of wands. So like they've, they've got a lot of passion well, they kind of, they're kind of immature, but like, it's like, it's like a horny schoolboy or schoolgirl, you know, like, ugh. um, the fellow Sagittarius is feeling heartbroken, um, and it just wants to heal. The Capricorn has a, a lot of passion for you and sees you as wish fulfillment. The Aquarius is going to offer you love and maybe a, give you some kind of gift or apology that... Um, the Pisces wants to work together with you. They see you as their ten of, not ten of cups, ten of pentacles. Well, they, you know what? Three of pentacles, ten of pentacles. Maybe the Pisces is focused a little bit on money. <laughs> um, and so here's you um, feeling very confident and passionate. All right, Sag, thank you. Love you. And I will see you in the next one.